बॉलीवुड स्टाइल एंड चामन याद आ जाता है एक ही नाम हमारी आज की गेस्ट हैं एक ऐसी पर्सनालिटी जिन्होंने किया है कंट्रोवर्सी को हैंडल विद ग्रेस एंड सक्सेस शोज ऑन हर फेस रैम पर कभी अपना करिश्मा दिखाया तो आजकल कर रही हैं रिच एंड फेमस लोगों के लिए ज्वेलरी क्रिएट शी इज समान जिनके एटीट्यूड को हर कोई करता है बहुत ही अप्रिशिएट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट क्वीनी सिंह लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद हाई टी मी सिमी चंदो Must watch. It's hot. Idea is to reinvent yourself. If you're glamorous, be glamorous. Don't try to be that 16-year-old. It can't happen. I think the Hollywood stars have reached a point of evolvement. There's always insecurity shrouding a Bollywood star. In my entire life, I've seen drugs in front of my eyes. When did you really get excited meeting someone? I think I was most excited meeting Madonna. It made me realize कि जितने लोग successful होते हैं उतने लोग simple हो जाते हैं I have never seen you go through any professional down so far. Personally, yes, uh, things didn't work out in the marriage. How did you put your life back together? You know, you just have to move on, basically. What do you tell your children? Here we are at Queenie's beautiful home. Welcome to Haiti, Queenie. Thank you, Simi. So, Queenie, your house is so beautiful. Did you decorate it yourself? Bits and pieces. I put together art or actually colors. Here, colors. Bits and pieces. I put together art or actually colors. Here, colors. Bits and pieces. I put together art or actually colors. Here, colors. Bits and pieces. I put together art or actually colors. Here, colors. Bits and pieces. I put together art or actually colors. Here, colors. Bits and pieces. I put together art or actually colors. Here, colors. Bits and pieces. I put together art or actually colors. Here, colors. Bits and pieces. I put together art or actually colors. Here, colors. Bits and pieces. I put together art or Queenie, वैसे मैंने सुना है that uh, all your friends tell me this कि आप उनके साथ भी बहुत strict हैं और वो आपके साथ जब flight लेती हैं तो वैसे तो it's a beautiful flight but अगर वो कहीं पर भी dessert या cheese खाने की कोशिश करती हैं flight पर तो आप उनसे भी छीन लेती हैं और उनको भी टोकती हैं that's how health conscious you are and fitness conscious only with good friends you know dessert तो एक चीज है जो बिल्कुल you don't need exactly you can just you need it because of the lalaj एक bite ले ली दो bites ले ली खत्म well uh, All our viewers who are completely dessert crazy, this is a tip here for you. आप dessert खाइए, लेकिन थोड़ा सा चक्के छोड़ दीजिए. Just like Queenie does it, so then you can look like the way she does. <laughs> Thank you, Sami. Well, आप एक महीने में कितने दिन travel करती हैं? Because whenever I try and call you, आप हमेशा इंडिया से बाहर थी. Actually, now it depends a lot on my work. मैं बहुत ही trunk shows करती हूँ. And then there's that odd time when you're going to attend something or you know fashion week or Yeah, I like my life to be um, full of excitement. Recently, I was uh, reading a column um, in a magazine, and uh, I was getting tired, and I was feeling jet lag just reading your column. It was beautiful. You were meeting uh, really nice people, very high-profile people from all over the world. But I'm like, God, how much is Queenie traveling in one month to put together in this column? How do you do it? I just I don't think about it. I sit on a plane and I just feel like I'm traveling now. It's uh, that wo sab you know that anxiety about traveling wo hai nahi. I mean I I have my own packed uh, toilet case or you know ke kaise jana hai kab nikal jana hai. I put my uh, iPad, start my movie. Love it kyunki koi phones nahi hote. Nobody to disturb you. You can sleep, you can eat, you can watch a movie. Peace. I love flying. But no cheese and no dessert. No cheese is my weakness. I love cheese. Dessert. Only thing that I love is ice cream. Ice cream they give in a plane way. Then I have to eat it. Otherwise, those cakes and souffles and all, so I don't even look at. Thank God. So, um, which has been your most memorable experience? If you had to pick a few celebrities, uh, when did you really get excited meeting someone? I think I was most excited meeting Madonna. The way Madonna was. It made me realize कि जितने लोग successful होते हैं epitome of success, उतने लोग simple हो जाते हैं She was so down to earth. She was so basic, Simi. अगर आप उनसे बातचीत करते हैं आपको पता लगता है कि यू कान इमेजिन शी इज मडोना शी टॉक अबाउट चिल्ड्रन खाना ये वो शी इज वेजिटेरियन और इट वॉज लाइक टॉकिंग टू समी जस्ट ऑर्डनरी Nice. I even met uh, Angelina Jolie once at a party in New York. पिछले साल की बात है and 
I went up to her and met her and she was just having a conversation. And I said, May I, you know, can I take a photograph? And she was so, she was wearing glasses and she took out her glasses. <laughs> she said, I'm standing next to you, I also want to look good. And I felt, wow, <laughs> I mean, you know, that uh, Why she, not? Yeah, I mean, she's got that, you know, that, that simplicity, okay, even, you know, let me make that special effort. And she doesn't need to, she's a Hollywood star. You met Madonna, you met Angelina Jolie, and uh, of course, I see a lot of Bollywood people at your parties when you have uh, other uh, jewelry events. So, you have friends in Bollywood. Maybe hai. I'm not talking about your friends, but uh, when you do meet stars here, what is it that uh, is different between the Hollywood uh, stars that you met and the Bollywood stars? I think the Hollywood stars are very successful stars have reached a point of evolvement and uh, they continue their lives making it whole. Here I find the stars are working too much, they don't have time for things and they are, um, and here your fan following it, it's different, you know, it puts you up on a ped pedestal and brings you down. So there's always insecurity shrouding a Bollywood star. So I find that very different. Like you see Meryl Streep, she's doing roles at this age. You know, barring like I'd say Amitabh Bachchan who has just taken his, you know, stardom from where to where, evolving and growing as he is growing, you know. I find when actresses sometimes do a comeback, they have to come back differently. Like they have to come back after sort of reinventing themselves. They can't be looking the same thing they looked like when they were in their 20s doing a, you know, a heroine dance or whatever. They come back in their late 30s or 40s, they have to come back as that person. And they, they miss that. They try to compete with what they were and that's, that doesn't work. They're still holding on to their past. Yeah, the idea is to reinvent yourself, to move with the times, to move with your age. I mean, I'm not saying that, look at me. I. At my, I've got grown up children, but I like to dress well, I like to keep trying to look good. So I'm not saying, I'm saying that look your best, but you're, you know, when, you, when you're doing a role, then look to, if you're glamorous, be glamorous. Don't try to be that 16 year old. It can't happen. Correct. You know? Abhi hum baat kar rahe success ki and uh, the more successful an individual is, uh, the simpler they become. You have seen a lot of success. ये देखा जाता है कि सक्सेस हमेशा वही लोगों को दोबारा मिलता है एंड इट्स ऑलवेज अ स्मॉल परसेंटेज ऑफ पीपल दैट आर फेमस एंड लाइक द रिच जस्ट कीप गेटिंग रिचर सो इज देर एनी सीक्रेट टू सक्सेस बिकॉज यूजली वेन पीपल आर सक्सेसफुल दे ऑल्सो बिकम सक्सेसफुल वेन दे ट्राई आउट अदर थिंग्स आई थिंक सक्सेस इज द बिगेस्ट इंस्परेशन टू सक्सेस यू नो वेन यू सक्सीड इट इंस्पायर यू टू बी मोर सक्सेसफुल बट Having said that, I think every individual, there is a down and there's an up. So when you're down, is the time when you have to think that this is not what life is. And that's what I tell myself because I had enough downs and I tell myself, this is not what life is. Pick yourself up and go for it, whatever it is. You are always getting written about uh, we always see your face in society columns, in uh, newspapers, in all the magazines. Um, did it just happen overnight? No. From the time I can remember, because I was a Miss India years yes. ago, and uh, at that time there was no press and paparazzi and photographers like it is today. It's completely a different world today. At that time, there was it was a big deal to be in the newspaper. You know, I remember that uh, as a model, you know, I did ads, so I would see myself in the paper or as a Miss India. So this has been going on since I can remember. Then uh, when I moved to Bombay, it was, Bombay Times was just coming out, you know. And there were very few people that were doing parties. And I mean, I remember how Bombay Times came in and was created and, you know, it, it's, uh, now of course it's a different world. Yes, of course, when um, I started Bombay Times and Pastry, I used to write about your parties and I think I met you after that. Yeah. In my entire life, I was a model. I was in the in the throes of society. High society. I mean, parties, fashion week, party, I mean, everything. I've seen drugs in front of my eyes. I have never touched drugs. How did you 
did you um, think of uh, getting into uh, designing jewelry? I l absolutely love jewelry. And when I was little, I mean, I wouldn't say little, but I was 18, 19, 20, and I started modeling. I didn't have any expenses, so I used to put my jewelry into, my money into jewelry. And started sitting with the babus because at that age, when you have a little bit of money, you don't want to just go and buy something off the shelf. You make your jewelry. Okay. So I started knowing how to make jewelry. Okay, how can I get my best out of such little money? You know? So the whole idea of understanding gold, assorting stones, you know, all of that, talking to karigars, that came at a very early age for myself. Then I would do it sometimes for friends. And uh, then I got married and children, and then I just stopped everything. So when my little one was uh, five, Rajveer was five, I thought I should do some work again. And the work, I wasn't going to become a math professor. And modeling, I had said goodbye to. So I said, the one thing that I really want to do, which I love and I know I can do it, and it's easy for me, is jewelry. It was instant. The whole work became instant. I did one exhibition and I was all set. So Queenie, we were talking about ups and downs and we were talking about professional ups and downs. I have never seen you go through any professional downs so far. You've only been on the rise there. Personally, yes, um, things didn't work out in the marriage. Uh, how did you put your life back together? I talk about optimism and I talk about work. Work is great, children and, uh, and life. You know, you just have to move on. Basically. And um, what do you tell your children? What kind of relationship do you have with your kids, Rajveer and Tiara? Well, Tiara and I are friends, but we have our, she's growing up, she's at 18 years, so she has those fights and the, you know, the rebellion and, and she's, a, she's a lovely girl. She has a lot of creativity in her. She's a painter, she's a writer, and I actually appreciate her talent and I like to uh, to, for her, I, I, I don't dismiss any of that. I like for her to flower and blossom and I want her to do her best and I try very hard so she never gets demoralized about any of her successes, you know. The little Rajveer is like, he's not little anymore, he's just turned 16 but he's uh, still a baby, you know. He's still like kind of around the mama. <laughs> Queenie, yeah. today we see uh, so many people around us, uh, you know, our friends and their kids, they're into substance abuse and I mean lots of bad habits like drugs and all that. Does it get scary as a single mom? It gets scary but I, since these kids have been little, I've always told them about drugs as uh, in such a fear that I don't think either of them would have the guts to go near it. And the example is me. In my entire life, I was a model. I was in the in the throes of society. High society. I mean parties, fashion week party, I mean everything. I've seen drugs in front of my eyes. I have never touched drugs. I've not even taken a, a, a drag of, of weed or pot or the whatever the natural stuff is because I'm so against drugs. I'm such a say no to drugs person and these kids know it. Because you know, sometimes the kids say, Mama, you did it. I mean, that's the general thing. You did it, you're doing it. So the drugs part, they can never point a finger at me. Okay. And they know that it's, it's not only that, but it's the company they keep, everything. And I even tell them that I kept the company off enough. You know, <laughs> I've seen enough. And I've, I've never touched it. So don't ever give me a, even an excuse that it was this person or that person. You have to know in your mind that it's something you're never going to touch. The other challenge for um, uh, single parents is how do you discuss your personal life and your relationships with your children? So um, what kind of a relationship do you have with your kids when it comes to that front? I sort of, it's, it's a matter of controversy because sometimes people say you should keep the children away from it. Sometimes they say you should bring them into it. One never knows what perfect parenthood is. But I like us all to be friends. You know, I like, uh, you know, I like them to sort of be comfortable. Most important is if they're comfortable. I don't want any dishonesty or any uh, chupa chupi ke ye ho rai, wo rai. I like there to be honesty and I like, so then people are comfortable. My children are comfortable. I, I prefer that 
for them to speak openly to me and be comfortable with a situation than be resentful. So I work very hard on that. My viewers are dying to ask you one question here that you cannot keep repeating all your outfits and they are really expensive. What do you do with those outfits? When you spend money on clothes, you have to see which has a timeless quality. Then you have to be intelligent. Cake, body, Bombay, mein pen hai, Delhi, mein pen lo, New York, mein pen lo, Dubai, mein pen lo. if you get five or six wears out of it, you're okay. And then what do you do with it? Then, I mean, also you space it and wear it, no, not immediately. That is my high street fashion. That, that is what is trendy. So, Queenie, you have shared our life share ki. You got us to your home. You've thrown open the doors to your life for us today. And we have been talking about fashion. And until we share your wardrobe and at least your favorite um, outfits with our viewers, this episode is going to be incomplete. So, we'll share your wardrobe with our viewers. Sure. So, now let's take a peep into Queenie's lovely wardrobe. Something like this is a complete drama dress. Yeah. You probably can wear it just once. You know, it's Diane Vaughan and it's, uh, I mean, people will remember it. Now, Where did you wear this? I wore it for when Diane Vaughan visited Bombay. Wow. So I wore it and she was so happy. She kept clicking pictures. So that's the one time I wore it. This is a classic, extremely glamorous. Classic, in my opinion, is uh, Every Leisure. This is this like is an Alexander gorgeous. McQueen. It's completely trendy. It'll last maximum one or maybe two seasons and that's it. Then it retires. Yes. But again, yeah. animal uh, prints can be very tricky and not everybody should wear them because they can carry it off. The personality has to carry yes. it off. So, uh, Queenie, now I think it's time that we uh, drive with you to work. How's that? Great. Okay. Look forward. So, chalo, abhi chalte hain, and we are going to check out Queenie's uh, brand new store, and you're in for a visual treat. Jewelry is is, is uh, my passion, and it's it's growing, and I want it to keep growing. So here we are at the store. And how often do you come here in a week? Every day. Really? When I'm in town, every day. Okay. A lot of actresses walking the ramp. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about their finesse on the ramp? Barring four or five of them, I would say uh, a lot of them are, are, I mean, you know, they, they are there because they are celebrities and stars and the media wants it. When you see the tall models with lanky bodies walk the ramp perfectly, yeah. and then you see an actress, um, you know, uh, who has not got a great body, or, uh, but, but she's an actress, you know. And for the design aspect and the fashion aspect and the ramp aspect, it's like, no. Mm. Uh, would you uh, just give us a few quick tips that we can share with our viewers here for grooming? Grooming uh, is basically about looking good and also the way you conduct yourself, the, the way you wear your clothes, whether it suits your body or it doesn't suit your body type, it suits your personality and what makes you feel comfortable. So it's about feeling comfortable, it's about feeling confident, you know, it, it's a combination of everything. Tukini, you have so many uh, different shades in you. You're playing so many roles at the same time. How do you juggle them and which one is your favorite role? I think being a mom, yes. I mean, has to be. My children are my first priority. And then uh, I guess I am also give a lot to my relationship. Mm -hmm. So I guess that has to come pretty much second. Okay. And then jewelry. Jewelry is, is, is uh, my passion and it's, it's growing and I want it to keep Growing. Any plans to get married? Uh, I don't know about marriage yet. <laughs> okay, that's one thing Queenie still has to figure out, I guess, uh, at least for the time being. But I'm sure I'll be on the list if you decide to do that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for letting us uh, spend the day with you at your home, at your store. Thank you. This is it for this episode. See you again, same time next week. <laughs>